Hey guys, welcome to what is an unfortunate video to make. As we all know, the coronavirus situation continues to hurt airlines around the world. It should be known that as a result of a substantial decrease in demand for air travel, larger passenger aircrafts that seat a larger number of customers are being grounded worldwide. The aircraft types mainly affected are the larger Airbus A380s and the Boeing 747s, which are simply becoming impossible to fill. Left with no other alternatives, most airlines are grounding these models and storing them at various storage facilities. However, some, namely Qantas and KLM, have just decided to bring forward the retirement of their 747 models, seeing as they would have anyways been retired in the near future. KLM previously expected to bid farewell to their beloved Queen of the Skies on a flight between New York JFK and Amsterdam on the 3rd of January 2021. This date has obviously been brought forward by three quarters of a year, seeing as it is expected the models are going to be grounded in the next couple of days. Here are some of the last remaining KLM 747s arriving into Amsterdam on the 29th of March from the Americas. The retirement of the 747s is a particularly sad announcement for KLM to make, seeing as they are among the world's oldest airlines and have operated the 747 variants for almost 50 years. Throughout the airline's history, it has operated the 747-200, the 747-200M, the 747-200SUD or the stretched upper deck variant, the 747-300, the 747-400, and the 747-400M, colloquially known as the Combi. There is no doubt that the 747 has played an important part in developing the KLM airline that is today. It has always been an integral part of the KLM widebody fleet and will be missed by many, that's for sure. It is also important to note that the cargo division of KLM still continues to operate three 747 freighter versions of the aircraft and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. Moving over to the second airline in question, Qantas is also having to regretfully wave goodbye to their prized Jumbo 747. These screenshots captured on Flight Radar 24 on the afternoon of the 29th of March 2020 show Qantas's final operating 747 coming into Sydney one last time after a flight from Santiago de Chile. VHOEE happens to be operating the last ever Qantas 747 flight today in what is a historic moment for Qantas, the end of an era. In Qantas's lifetime, it has also come very close to operating the 747 aircraft for around 50 years. They originally took delivery of their first 747 on the 16th of August 1971, when their first 747-200 registered VHEBA or Echo Bravo Alpha arrived into Sydney Airport. From here forth, Qantas went on to operate every single variant of the 747 ever made, making them one of the most loyal operators of the time. Qantas originally intended on retiring the Boeing 747 from the end of 2020, meaning it would have had around another nine months to fly with the airline. However, as mentioned earlier, due to the extreme circumstances airlines are facing around the world, Qantas too had no choice but to bring forward the retirement of these sentimental birds. Thank you guys very much for watching this brief video explaining the retirement of KLM and Qantas's 747 aircraft. While it is sad to see them go in such uncertain times, we hope this can alleviate some of the challenges facing these airlines in the face of this coronavirus crisis. Also, feel free to check out some of the videos around the screen. You may just like some of them. See you next week with another video.